Hello, welcome to Jason the Old Millennial. My name is Jason. Speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. And I'm tuning my series on ranking all of the Disney animation movies, um, all 62. I did one video already from 62 to 56. So this video, I'm gonna do 55 through 51. So stay tuned to hear my thoughts on these movies here on Jason the Old Millennial. <laughs> Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing well here on a uh, Thursday evening. Um, yeah, coming back to you, talking more Disney animation movies. I've seen all 62 that have uh, come out so far and been wanting to do this list for a while. Um, started it uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so we're starting again with uh, F55. These are uh, still movies that I really do not like. This is definitely the bottom of the barrel of Disney movies. Um, haven't quite gotten to ones I enjoy. We won't really get to movies that I really like, I would say, out of this list to maybe top 30 or so, somewhere in there. Top 35, we'll get into more movies that I quite enjoy. So unfortunately, I have to talk about movies I don't like very much. Most of them are the older ones, though the first one I'm going to talk about is actually a newer one. Uh, newer ones have been pretty bad as well. But uh, So let's start with number 55. Number 55 is Strange World, which is a pretty recent one. I feel like it came out a couple years ago. Uh, Pretty much bombed at the box office, if I remember right. Um, got really bad reviews, and I don't know anybody that's given this a good review. And I'm kind of with them. It was just a know nothing movie. Uh, most mostly, it just didn't have any laughs in it. The overall story was like this uh, son and his strange father. He his father was an explorer, but the son wants to stay rooted in one place. And the father's kind of a scumbag for leaving the family. But he finds his father while trying to find this this uh, energy source, I think, or something like that. And it, I, I don't know. I didn't like the animation either. I thought the overall animation was not very good. The characters are supposed to be human, but they had, like, huge noses or something. Like, there's something off about the animation. And they try to make it... And, and today's animation is so amazing. So they really usually try to push the animation on these type of movies, but I don't know, I feel like the animation wasn't very good. It wasn't that interesting of a story. None of the characters were that interesting or funny. Um, and I think the the main thing about the, the movie that's supposed to get you into it was that he travels to these different places and there's all these different kind of creatures and uh, a lot of colors. Like, it was very colorful, but like, not in a good way. And you come across some creatures, but none of the creatures were that interesting and didn't really help the story. And then there's this whole twist of the story that was really stupid and it kind of become this liberal environmentalist type story um so yeah a lot going against it and so that's why here's some 50, 50 55 it just had nothing interesting going on for it and uh yeah it did very badly here so number 55 strange world number 54 um this is a movie i loved as a kid but re-watching it uh i don't know it didn't quite get to me as much um oh no no sorry this isn't the one this is a newer one, actually, but this is Winnie the Pooh, which actually came out in the 2010s, um, it, it, which was interesting because Winnie the Pooh was, um, you know, older movie back in the I don't know, 70s or something like that when that, those cartoons were big. And I was big on Winnie the Pooh when I was a kid, actually. I love Winnie the Pooh. Um, and then they did this kind of uh, new Winnie the Pooh movie, which was very odd going so retro after they did Tangled. I remember this very vividly because they did Tangled, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. And they followed Tangled with Winnie the Pooh, which is a very weird um, 2D animated movie, you know. And I don't know, rewatching this is just very boring. I don't know, as an adult, I, I, don't, I find these characters not that interesting, kind of boring storytelling. Uh, and it's not really a movie with like an overarching like plot, I don't believe. Uh, Winnie Pooh is really just made for like more like uh, short stories put together. Um, and that's what it felt like a lot of times. Though I do get a kick out of Eeyore because he's so depressed. And so I feel a kindred spirit with 
um, eat horror a lot of times with how depressed he is a lot anyways. But I don't know what to say here. It's just not a very... I just don't find this movie very interesting or the characters anymore as an adult, unfortunately. So number 55 or number 54 goes Winnie the Pooh. Okay, number 53, we're going way back to the 40s for this one. And this is a considered a classic. And I don't know if how many people really enjoy this movie as much, but it's Bambi, Bambi, uh, which is like the, maybe the third movie that they made um, of all time in Disney. And yeah, as a kid, I was maybe okay with this movie, but it was didn't take very long as I grew up that I became very bored with this movie. And rewatching it, man, is it boring. It's not very long, I don't think, either. Uh, but there's like this whole part where the seasons are changing and it's a kind of a musical part and it's just eh, not nothing interesting there. Uh, Bambi's an okay character, not the most exciting character. I mean, Thumper's kind of okay, you know, and, flowers the skunk and the rabbit you know there's something okay there i guess and they're kind of cute as little little animals you know at one point uh and there's not much i mean he kind of falls in love with the female deer towards the end as he grows up and then has like a random fight with another male deer and then there's a fire i think in the forest and they have to run away uh, it's just a slow moving boring movie not much plot to it to be honest uh, the best part of the movie, though, is the um, when the owl, when they grow up uh, with uh, Bambi and Flowers and uh, Thumper all grow up and they aren't, they're starting to under, they're starting to know girl animals for the first time. And uh, the owl, you know, the wise owl says, you're, you're what is it, you're Twitter pated, I think. You're Twitter pated. And what's that? Well, that's when you start liking girls, you know. And they're like, what? Not me. And then they event, and they immediately fall in love with a female at that point. So that's a funny moment. Besides that, never was big on this movie. And so that's number 53, Bambi. Okay, number 52, <laughs> connected with my last movie, or two movies ago. This is the older Winnie the Pooh movie. It's called The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I have here at number 52. So I have both Winnie the Pooh movies pretty much almost back to back here for similar reasons. Uh, again, this is really just like three short stories put together to make a movie. So again, I, I struggle with movies that don't have an overall plot and overall, you know, character development and a beginning, middle, end, you know, things that really make a movie. And this is one of those, because like I said, it's just three shorts uh, put together. I don't know, again, I was just really bored with this movie. Uh, again, I loved this one as a kid. I was a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. I mean, Tigger, Tigger was great. Always loved Tigger as a kid, um, you know. And so these are three, I mean, these are on their own. They're not bad shorts, I would say. Like these are classic, you know, Winnie the Pooh shorts. If you ever, I think as a kid, a kid would love this. I mean, uh, like I did. Uh, on their own, they're good shorts, I think. But put together, it's just like not a very interesting movie. Um, the one thing I like about it, the only thing I'd say I kind of like about it is like times when there's a narrator narrating and, and you see um, it's like a narrator reading out a book and you see at times there's a picture of like a book and and you'll see like Winnie the Pooh like you know walking on the words of the pages as he's turning the page and uh, some of those moments I like that was kind of a a, a very uh, creative way you know of doing that anyways I do like some of that stuff but for the most part like I said, I don't know, just, it was just a boring movie to me. Slow moving, not a lot going on. So number 52. All right, now we get to number 51 on my list. So this is actually a pretty quick video. It's not taking me too long. To, I don't have a lot to say about a lot of these movies because I don't watch them hardly ever. But 51 is The Black Cauldron. Uh, it came out in the 80s period, which it came out kind of during the dark period of Disney. Uh, in the, I want to say mid, mid 80s period. Um, they put off a lot of movies that didn't do particularly well in the theater. And they're starting to wonder, is Disney animation done for? Um, are they going to have to quit Disney animation? Because uh, other animation studios are starting to come up a little bit. Steven Spielberg, um, I think he uh, he financed or he helped uh, uh, Bluth, I think his name was, uh, with doing some movies like the Five Old Goes West was very popular. I think, in fact, I think Five Old Goes West was like the beat this movie came out like the same year 
and uh, the American Tale. I think Five Goes West, American Tale, I think it's called. And that movie did better in the box office than Black Cauldron. I think even the Care Bears movie did better than the Black Cauldron. So that's when they're like, oh man, we're really going downhill. These other animation studios are putting out stuff that's beaten Disney, Disney Animation, which really never happened before. So there's a lot of question. So this is kind of the movie that almost killed Disney in, in a way. I mean, it's kind of when they were at the bottom of the barrel as far as uh, how good they were doing in the box office. And this is a movie that I didn't know existed growing up. It's funny, I was thinking, uh, I remember what, it wasn't until after like Tangled, like I said, it wasn't until after Tangled that I realized, oh, there's this, you know, Tangled was the 50th movie. So it was like almost its 50th like anniversary kind of thing. Uh, and I remember going, huh, I wanna watch all the movies before Tangled. And so I did my research and, you know, and tried to, at the time I was like, maybe Blockbuster or maybe Netflix was brand new and you got DVDs in the mail. And I used to do Netflix and DVDs in the mail and I would get all these Disney animation movies to try to catch up with all the ones I never heard of. And I remember Black Cauldron being one of them. I was like, I never heard of Black Cauldron because that's one that they never talk about, one they never show on TV. It's just kind of, they really kind of tried to erase this movie. It kind of disappeared a little bit. And so I was like, oh, wow, Black Cauldron, what is this anyways? And uh, and I kind of get why, it, it, like I said, it's number 51 here. I just, not that, it's just a, a weird story, um, not told particularly well. It's very dark. I think that's one of the reasons why I did pretty bad because it was kind of a, a little bit of a darker movie. It's kind of medieval times. The, the, the villain is kind of this, you know, skeleton or this guy in like, uh, in like medieval armor or something like that. And, uh, to me, he's not a very good villain because he doesn't really talk that much. And he doesn't really, and he doesn't have any facial features, so he can't. To me, a good villain should be chewing the scenery, should be having great facial features that show how evil they are. I don't know, I, I, I forget what his, what his name was. He was the something king or something like that, like the goblin king or something. And uh, not that great. There's this weird character that has a really bad voice, like a very annoying voice that shows up and is like working for the bad guys but then turns good or something and helps the main character uh and there's this I don't know, it's just a weird story like the whole the whole thing is this kid has like this magic pig that he puts the pig's face in water and then it shows like some prophecy or something i don't know it was a very weird story and he finds a sword that like sword fights for him or something and there's like a princess he tries to rescue and he's just a farm boy, little things like he's this farm boy. And this old, of course the Black Cauldron's like this evil thing that the bad guy's trying to get to rule the world or try to, you know, I think called dead spirits or something anyways. Uh, I don't know, the movie just never worked for me. It, it's not funny. I, I like, personally, I like my Disney animation to be funny. I like funny characters. I like really good side characters, you know, besides being an interesting story and a good story. and. All that and just yeah no good side characters no laughs uh just a really blah story overall uh that did not work and I, and it's from a it has a, it's from a book it's a sort there's source material is a book that has a bunch of stories to it i think so that i think maybe they just did a bad job editing and writing and getting the right story together and i think there's a lot of problems with that and i don't think anybody was happy that was making it well the disney company wasn't happy with it and all that and uh so who knows maybe it's one of those things where maybe they need to redo the story and put more effort into it maybe they could make a good but this was not it and again i've only watched it a couple times and i never care to watch it again so that's why it has to be this low on my list at 51 the black cauldron because i've heard some people say it's like underrated i guess to me it's not it's it's rated pretty well it's it's one of the one of the weakest movies that Disney came out with, especially in the 80s, they had a couple of good movies, but the 80s was definitely like their worst period. Uh, not not counting today, it's probably the worst period as well. But yeah, so you got Black Cauldron number 51. So that's the five movies for today, 55 to 51. Please feel free to comment. What do you think about these movies? Are they too low? Do you enjoy them more than I do? Please comment, love to read them. Besides that, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for uh, liking the video. And thank you to all my subscribers for supporting the channel. I appreciate you all. And good